The year was 1958. It was the halfway point in Eisenhower's second term as president. The nation's first satellite, Explorer 1, roared into the heavens. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration was established with a mission of putting a man into space within two years. And the Federal Aviation Agency came into being as the guardian of the national airspace. 37-year-old Bob Everett sat in front of a typewriter in Cambridge, Massachusetts, wrestling with words. A decision arrived at the previous January between MIT, Lincoln Laboratory, and the United States Air Force created a new not-for-profit company that would take over the ongoing systems engineering and weapons integration of the nation's air defense system called SAGE for semi-automatic ground environment. The new company was to be named MITRE and it fell to Everett to put it all down on paper. He typed seven pages. The first line that he typed read, the new corporation should be formed as rapidly as possible and its sponsorship and officers chosen and announced. The date was May 26. The very next month, MIT's Lincoln Laboratory formally turned over control of the SAGE Continental Air Defense System to the Air Force's Air Defense Command. And a month after that, on July 21st, the new corporation was formally announced with a full-page spread in the New York Times. Early on, MITRE moved in together with its first sponsor, the United States Air Force, sharing space with the Air Defense Systems Integration Division in a small wooden building out behind Lincoln Laboratory. On September 1st, MITRE, working as a subcontractor to MIT, took up the challenge of knitting together the massive digital network that was SAGE, 22 three-story blockhouses that made up the SAGE family of direction centers in the United States and a 23rd in Canada were put online. Beginning with the first at McGuire Air Force Base on June 26th, the massive duplex SAGE computers were each programmed in 15 days by a crew of 75 programmers and engineers. Over a thousand pages of mathematical formulas transferred to three million IBM punch cards were fed into each machine. Along with programming would also come weapons integration, as MITRE took on the job of adding Bomark and Nike Hercules missiles, the Sentry series of jet interceptors like the F-104 and F-106, as well as Texas Towers, Navy picket ships, and Alry Airborne radar platforms. By 1961, 22 SAGE direction centers were linked. As General Curtis LeMay, commander of the Strategic Air Command, said of MITRE's efforts, it made the fundamental concept of a coordinated air battle and defense in depth a practical reality. Smaller versions of SAGE were then replicated for NATO's defense of Europe and in Asia for Japan. Computer historian Stan Augarten remarked, above all, SAGE taught the American computer industry how to design and build large, interconnected, real-time data processing systems. Through SAGE, technology was transferred to the world at large, and computer systems as we know them today came into existence. Music